swear words. We've talked about this. We talked about it. We played it at our PhD event mm-hmm. earlier this year. This was the first time we really got to play it with a large group. We had, I think we had 10 people, if not, I don't even, I forget how many this goes up nine to. Nine or 10, yeah. Yeah, nine, I think we had nine, yeah, maybe nine or 10. We. Yeah, because you were at the head of the table, and then I think... We don't need to count. Yeah. If, you're, if you're not familiar, it's basically Werewolf meets 20 questions. Uh, one person has a word, everyone else is trying to guess it, but someone in the mix is a werewolf, and they are trying to ask misleading questions, or if they're the person answering the questions, maybe even answer the questions incorrectly. Uh, and at the end of the game, of course, you can try to guess, if you didn't get the word, who the werewolf was. And if the werewolves lose, they can try to guess who the seer was, who knows the word as well as the mayor, and wants to try to lead the villagers to the right questions without being caught out. And there's a couple other roles in there, but they're, you know, that's, that's the, the major ones. We don't right. need to go into all of them. So this is a game that takes you know, between 5 and 10 minutes to play. Right. And we must have played it like at least 10 times in a row. Oh yeah, we did a lot of games, so, uh, which brought a lot of interesting things. I, I, I felt, I mean, right off the bat, I think it was a huge success because yeah. it's, oh, it's rare you know. that you play a game and everyone wants to play it again and again. And there are different difficulties, which we played through them, which right. became very Harder interesting. words you can use. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited to do, do make your own list of words. Yeah, like I would like each person to submit like ten or so, and so you have a huge word bank. It's and, an app-based game, so that's right. that's how you can actually do that. So you can do some fun ones like uh, like Magic Carp or something like that. <laughs> that obviously wouldn't be in the app they could put in, but yeah, no, for sure we did. We tried some of the uh, ridiculous level words, and they lived up to their name. Oh yeah, <laughs> they were not easy to get. And some people got some of like one was, one was like trigonometry or something oh like, yeah it was it was something triangulate it was yeah, triangulate. triangulate and it's, it, we had the two math people like <laughs> <laughs> boy i had my one when i was the mayor was focaccia <laughs> type of bread yeah i, re- I was the werewolf for that i remember seeing him like you don't, don't gotta know. do anything <laughs> you're yeah. set no because even though i was like i i don't know what that is <laughs> right <laughs> so my favorite though was yeah. when someone had fist oh my god and we were so we're asking him is it a living thing yes is it a person Yes. So it's just. <laughs> then they were like, "Wait, there's like a maybe token." So there's like, "Well, maybe." And we're like, "Is that a person or not?" <laughs> Fist. That was a tough one. There are there are times like that. Well, and that's part of the fun is then you're like, "Oh, maybe they were the werewolf. They were lying to us because they did it." Um, like what? Someone's uh, word was Donkey Kong, and they didn't know it was Japanese. <laughs> and they said it was oh. American. And it was really funny because it threw everyone off who was big Nintendo fans. They're like, "Okay, it can't be this." And I was the seer, so I was like, "Well, like." can't just say that's wrong because that's <laughs> they'll know so that was fun but overall i mean if you like word games or the resistance so this game almost feels like it was tailor-made for me <laughs> like this yeah. is my the marriage of my two favorite some of my two favorite genres of games so i really had a blast with it i yeah i think this is this will be a staple for big party games from now on for sure if you enjoyed this video it was just a snippet of our full-length podcast which you can find on our youtube channel every week so please go ahead like and subscribe for more board game related content coming at you in the future and don't forget to check out rollforcrate.com where we actually sell a lot of the games we talked about as well as post news and all our other videos until then i'm will keeler i'm jonathan estes and this is roll for crit